So this is Module 1, Introduction to Oracle Application Express, uh, APEX Overview. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the structure of, or the architecture of APEX and what exactly APEX is. So you may have, have heard that uh, APEX is kind of this uh, no-cost option of the Oracle database and uh, you might be here just trying to explore uh, a little bit further about what APEX can do. So what it is, what APEX is, it's a complete web-based RAD environment. It stands for Rapid Application Development. And uh, as a developer that's used a couple different uh, quote-unquote RAD environments, uh, I feel like APEX has actually, is actually true to that statement. I feel like they've hit the mark pretty well. So since it's a web-based tool, there's no client-side software required. You do not have to install anything to modify your Apex application. It is all done through the browser. And you can supplement Apex development by using a tool such as SQL Developer or Toad. Uh, if you have large uh, PL SQL packages uh, that are um, integrated into your Apex application, Typically, modification of those packages will be done through SQL Developer or Toad. I do not recommend uh, modifying a large code base through um, Apex directly. So Apex is data-centric. So it's built to manipulate data in an Oracle database. So if, you're, I, if you plan on just building uh, a simple uh, FAQ or frequently asked questions, uh, website that is static, data doesn't, there's not really a lot of data to change or manipulate, uh, then maybe Apex isn't the best fit. But um, if you want to expand upon uh, an ERP or some other application, or you want to build uh, a enterprise type application uh, for your company, then Apex might be a good fit. Right? So one thing to remember is that Apex runs in the database, so it utilizes all of the Oracle database features. So uh, as you upgrade what version of Oracle you're on, uh, you're essentially upgrading what Apex can do. And to add on that, to add to that, uh, as since Apex is a web application, as web technologies, web technology web technologies mature uh, and, and grow, uh, Apex kind of inherits uh, those, those features and uh, kind of ex expanded features of what a browser can handle. Apex is declarative. So what that means is that we use wizards uh, to create components. So you'll actually click on a create button to create a new item on a form and you'll click a create button to even uh, to create a new application so you're not you don't actually have to write code to make a new application right. you're just kind of you're walking through uh, a, a wizard or a set of screens to help achieve a goal and there's also going to be property screens to modify those different components that you've 